Hello YouTube. Hey guys, thanks for coming back for part two in Moments of Collecting. Let's look at the cards. Alright guys, let's get into these cards and take a look. So as you can see here in the background is his 83 Tops Rookie. This is the card that my stepfather actually got me for my birthday. I've held on to it all these years. It's in pretty good shape. Um, don't know if it's actually gradable. I've never looked at it under a microscope or anything, but that's besides the point. It doesn't matter to me. Um, it's the, the story behind this card and the others that I just told you that will always make these cards my most cherished cards in my collection and will always keep them um, in my collection. So I uh, will go through these cards one at a time uh, and, and kind of just let you look at them and tell you about them. I have changed some of them over into newer top loaders um, because of the original top loaders I had them in had started to turn yellow and gotten crusty. A um, couple of them are in those original top loaders still. Um, I haven't gotten around to changing those, but um, we'll jump right in here. So here is the 1984 tops. Ryan Sandberg, very clean card. Love the colors with the blue back on this. Love the imaging. The 83 and 84 are forever my favorite top sets. Um, I love how 83 did the circle with the picture, the border, white borders, the coloring, um, how it all kinds of kind of matches and pops and they always kind of put an odd color in to just give it a little flair. Same way with 84 um, with the, the square. I will say I have collected the 2019 cards with modern players and the 84 style and the 18 tops cards with the 83 style. Um, have picked up some modern players in those cards just because I think that they're, they're so cool. These are my favorite, favorite sets. So after that, we have the 1985 tops, Ryan Sandberg, and I love this set as well. Big old cat hair, sorry about that. Um, love this set as well. With the green backs, these the older cards, like the nostalgia I get when I look at these cards. I know a lot of guys don't like it. Uh, some guys do, but these old wax cards, man, I I just think there's nothing cooler. Um, outside of super vintage cards, you know, um, 50s and 60s, I the 80s are the coolest cards to me. I, I think the, the simpleness of them is beautiful, just like, you know, the 50s, 60s cards as well. And then this card for 86, he didn't have an 86 Topps Donruss of the major brands base cards, but he did have in his set this Quaker Chewy Granola Bars. It was made by Topps, um, but so he wanted to make sure I had an 86, and these were all cards that came from my neighbor that we called Papaw, the 84, 85, 86. And then the 83 was one that came from my stepfather for my birthday that year. But the 86 was this Chewy Granola Bar, Ryan Sandberg. I have actually not seen another one in anyone else's collection. So to me, this has become a really cool card just because the the what I feel is, is rare about it. Um, and it's in great shape. Uh, I haven't seen it, like I said, in too many other people's collections. After that, it's the 87 Don Russ. And you can see here he did the... Typical no-nos of the time, and the tape's still there. Um, but he just put the tape across the top to keep the car in. They weren't loaded with penny sleeves inside. Um, so I've removed and put penny sleeves on them and then put them in newer top loaders uh, to try to keep the shape. But some of them were a little worn. I mean, you can see some, some battle scars on this one. But uh, really good centering, and it's just a really cool card. I mean, 87 Donruss. But again, like I was saying in my video, it's not about the, the quality or the what people would say is the price value of the cards. Um, to me on this, it is more the actual story behind it and how I got these that makes these cards so special to me. Um, so these cards are probably, dollar-wise, some of the least valuable cards in my collection. But to me, they are the most valuable cards in my collection. I would sell every card I have in my collection before I would sell these cards I'm showing you today. And this one here is the 88 Donruss Ryan Sandberg. This one is super clean. Um, like this, always liked the 88 Donruss. A lot of people didn't, but with that plaid background, 
I always thought they were really cool. Um, I've always thought Don Russ had really good looking cards. My favorite cards have always been Tops and Don Russ. Um, always felt like they were just the the two leaders in, in the cards and kind of are still today with Panini and Tops, but um, Tops has definitely excelled past them. Next up after that is the 1989 Tops. So you see here he has the little sticker with 1989 typed on it. When I got these cards originally, my neighbor had this case tape the sticker with the date on every single one of them, which at the time was so awesome to me. Now looking back at it, it's kind of funny, not the greatest way to keep a card in a top loader, but you know what? A, for me, I wouldn't want to change it at all. I, I, you know, I've had to change some just because the top loader's gotten in such bad shape, but I love these cards, so... Probably can't say that enough or have repeated it too much in this video for you guys, but I just cherish these cards. And then the last of this set was the 1990 Tops Ryan Sandberg. Again, just a classic card, very, very basic design. A lot of people love the 90s, a lot of people hate the 90s. I thought the 1990 Tops cards were really cool. Um, I actually dislike 91 92 going up um i felt like 1990 was kind of the last year to really have that wax card style to me i think it was actually 91 or 92 that they changed the card stock and that really was a a major change to me and it was hard to deal with you know and in my mind of baseball cards you get used to what things look like in a texture um I'm not saying i don't like change but you definitely get used to how they feel in your hand, and, a, and that change can can be a major difference. But just going back through these here, you have 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 1990. Um, sorry for the glare there, guys. But again, just wanted to share that with you. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions or want to share your story, feel free to uh, leave me a comment um, or make a video and let me know you made the video and I'll check out yours. Um, but please like, subscribe, guys, and let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.